Hey guys, we're finally on X, so smash that follow button at Cartier Family, eating with the Z, for your daily dose of content. From video clips to exclusive behind the scenes stuff that we can't even post on YouTube. We'll be posting about politics, just random viral funny stuff, and sports, you name it. We're talking about them maximizing their great potential. And because we bring that up and talk about what potentially might get in their way, which we do to men all the time, now we gotta sit up here and watch every syllable. I resent that, and I'll leave it. All at right, that. so let me, so let me. I know we gotta go to break. I know we gotta go to break. <laughs> Welcome to the world of being a woman, Stephen A. And how you have to dance about your word choice, and you have Got to it. please everybody and anybody as you navigate your being. We are talking about the world's greatest. How about being a black and- man? B- okay, being black. Hold on one second. Have you, have you- so, so this is what I'm saying to y'all though, and I know we gotta go to break, and we didn't necessarily go there, and maybe we should. There are so many layers in this conversation around the way that it's being discussed. When you, right, no, no, no. And yes, Shannon, I know y'all are gonna say you know, and Stephen A, I know you're gonna, you, you just shared that you have talked about the WNBA on your program too. You guys may not have said everybody, but the prevailing sentiment for folks that are just joining the WNBA and following women's sports is unfair to the women of this league, to your point, who have laid the groundwork for Caitlin Clark to come in and now take it to the next level. What That's all I'm saying in these conversations. Kennedy Carter's behavior is not indicative of the entire league. We are still talking about competition where you are allowed to get a little extra elbow in if you are competing and you do it within the parameters of the game. The game is physical. Caitlin is helping to grow the league. These women understand that, but she cannot be babied as a rookie. That's all I'm at. All right. Who talks about the Let's Who talks break. about the WNBA? Who talks about women? Who talks about women's sports more more than more than first take? Stephen A, respectfully, with your platform, you could have been doing this three years ago if you wanted to. <laughs> That's what she had him messed up at. <laughs> wow. All right, we got to go. You know you you my show? guy. Nobody really Who cared that much that, that, three Stephen A, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Wow. Don't do that. I'm talking to you about the oh, power that you have. Okay. I'm talking okay. to you. <laughs> Never enough. Okay. It's, okay. It's, right, let, it's not even basketball right anymore. Guys, 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 I really appreciate You're my girl, but you've missed a lot of episodes of First Take. You missed okay. a lot. Stephen A, guys, three years ago, you would not talk about the W ahead, at this Mom. level. Don't do that. Guys, Come guys, 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 guys. Nobody I'm was, real, Monica. Guys. You making hey, Stephen A. poor. <laughs> Monica, you making Stephen A. poor. Please let me do my job. Please let me do my job. We're going for 40 minutes Nobody straight. Was it was a riveting discussion. It. I have to get in a commercial break. Man, that was hilarious. Shannon just, Shannon just, just exposed the whole thing. No, in fact, no one was talking about the WNBA three years ago. So I don't understand why. I don't see why it's such a big deal that Caitlin Clark has got people. Why are they upset that people are watching your league now? I just, I just think, you know, like this rookie class. Like you're upset about good things. No, hey, facts. my brother. I, as I said, guys, it's not basketball this, this, no more. This rookie class, Cameron Brink, Angel Reese, Caitlin Clark. Look at the social media numbers. They have more numbers, more engagement. If you look, okay, let's talk about it. If you look at the post from when Iowa lost the national championship and they posted Caitlin Clark on ESPN, then they posted the same day at the same hour. They posted South Carolina on Instagram on their dub South Carolina post. 200,000 likes. Kaylin Clark post, 1.2 million likes. Oh my gosh, guys, people love Kaylin Clark. They are engaging with Kaylin Clark. She has the best number. She has the best engagement. I mean, across social media, Kaylin Clark, 2.4 million followers. Angel Reese, 3 million followers. Cameron Brink, a million followers. I mean, there's not too many other WNBA superstars that are having these numbers. But I they're mean, not following Angel Reese for her game, though. That's what I'm going to I mean, still, bro, know. like, it doesn't matter. She, she's a big name. She generates she, clicks. She generates engagement. Face. It doesn't matter. She's bringing in numbers. Bro, and uh, the reason it's not talked about is because they can't hoop. That's why it's not talked. I about. mean, we just gotta talk about it. This K, this this rookie class is bringing in more numbers, more See, engagement. This it's is better than the game. See, Kaylin, Kaylin, if we're talking, if we're Clark. talking about, if we're talking about engagement and numbers, Kaylin Clark. Kaylin Clark has one of the best engagement and numbers, and people are watching, want to come and watch her shoot the three and watch her play the game. The What's thing, the though, problem? Bro, they everyone knows. No one can deny the numbers. The more people are watching, everyone knows that. Facts. My problem is, why are you upset about that? If your sport is growing, y'all are because winning. she's no. Why? You want to know? You want to know why they're upset? But that doesn't they're, matter. They're they're to upset. Me. They're I'm upset. From a selfish person, you know. But I'm thinking if I'm them, I'm in the league, right? Maybe I'm not the biggest star, but I'm. It helps my situation. For her coming, you're my not pride. Delusional, bro. Wait, 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 bro. I, think, I, think, I think they're jealous because a lot of the growth and uh, media coverage has been all attributed to Kaitlyn Clark, and they're mad because they're like, okay, you guys keep pigeonholing on this one person and making it seem like she's the reason why the league is growing. But it but, is. But, but no, no. if you no, no, I would like to say, I would like to say, and it I'll is. stop talking because I've been yapping. But if you look at the uh, Indiana Fever's uh, 
season uh, attendance last year, it was like 14,000 for the whole year. I think it's up to uh, 14,000 per game yeah, now. That. It's a 300% increase in attendance so due to eating. Caitlin Clark. Everyone's eating. The numbers nah, are there. Not everyone. The facts are there, guys. No, they the come to see her. At, uh, did they, she, they showed a stat where I think they said 17,000 people showed up for a Caitlin Clark game and only like 4,000 people showed up for an Angel Reese game. Uh, I think I think the max attendance at an Angel Reese game is like 10,000. Okay, but year. look, though. More people are, are tuning into the sport, period. Because of Caitlin. But that's the same thing that more, happened in the more NBA. More people are coming the same for thing Caitlin, that in the NBA. But more people came when Steph Curry started hooping. More kids, more people who didn't know. I, I guarantee you, if you look it up, I'm not gonna lie. Steph, Steph Curry, Steph Curry. If you look, if you look he's at, he's the face of the NBA. Damn near no now, facts. Man. If you look, if, if you he look, came to the league, bro. Facts. Everyone, st- more people start watching when Steph started playing. Bro. When he starts when he shooting, starts them, shooting threes, them threes, no, it's facts. It's the same thing. If you, it's exciting. If you look at, if you look you at the most watched we had NBA KD player, and Brown and them. Like same thing with Jordan. People did not really watch basketball like that until Jordan started tweaking. Yeah. And then Nike signed up. And and the you shoes. forgot about Larry Bird. Oh, and yeah. and now and Magic too. But Magic no, no, no. And Larry. But there's so many people it's that the same came up on stuff though, bro. It was all if you if you look at but if you look at the time, numbers, if you look at the numbers. Increased numbers. Superstars increased numbers. Facts. That's an easy equation. Yeah, Facts. But no, but if you look at the most but the people if you look at the most jealous about that. If you look at the most watched NBA player. not upset about that. If you look at the most watched NBA player right now is Steph Curry. It's literally, you Google it. You, Draymond's Steph, not upset about number that. Number one, Steph Curry. Number two, it up. LeBron. Bo number be, three, Wimbiana. Number four, look at the Luka. Jersey sales. Look at Jersey sales. Well, I thought, you know, LeBron I'm probably said. About jerseys or That's the same thing. That's the player like. No, 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 no. You can look up engagement. I, I actually had this argument a few days ago. I remember the list. Number one, one point like something billion Steph Curry. Number two, another billion LeBron. Number three, another billion, Wimbiana. Number saying? four, another billion, Luka Doncic. All superstars. Well, yeah. Like, the shit no, no, one, no one's it bitching is. about uh, Wimbiana coming in and getting all these numbers and having a high selling jersey. No, no one's one. mad about that. No one's seen mad. That before. No one's mad about the rookie He's coming different. in. Okay. So okay. it's them. So, so it's so Caitlin. Caitlin. And no one's That's mad. Hey, no yes. one's mad yes. about. We no just, one's mad we about all, Wimbiana. Agree with you. No one's mad about Wimbiana being a rookie getting a shoe deal. No one's mad about that. But they're mad about Caitlin Clark. It's the same thing. Like, it's the same thing. It's, it's the same but, thing. But, but y'all gotta look, 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 Supporting argument yeah, to why yeah, we yeah. agree. I felt this wow. And look, it's the two, you know, they, they agree. Bro, <laughs> bro. When the South Carolina coach said, if if they think she, if a person thinks she's a woman, yeah, that's, she's yeah. a, we should have stopped right there. We, <laughs> we know what we're dealing with here. You know, no one was mad. I'm gonna give you an example of another of men eating. No one was mad when Tom uh when Tony Romo came on TV fresh out of football and got one of the biggest Big uh deals. TV deals. No one was God bitching about that. No shit. one was bitching about that. No, they, I mean, people got fired from Tom Brady to come do facts, guys don't facts. hate on guys. Greg, Greg Olson, Greg Olson was killing it. People yeah. love Greg Olson. A lot of years. And they fired him fired to put Tom, Tom Brady, Brady on, on TV. That's how it goes. No. He won seven Super Bowls. Bro. Bro. Hey, bro. That people, that, he different. <laughs> that, hey, it's hey, and Greg also he, he wasn't doing bad. Like, he I, wasn't doing bad. He was doing a great job. But hey, sometimes the big dogs got to eat. You know, and and hey, delusions. And that's just that's the game, right. bro. Somebody gonna pick him up, though. It's messed up, but that's just the game. He bro. was on the platform. No, for sure. Somebody gonna pick him up, but yeah. he lost a, a, a prime time spot at his job for someone who's a bigger name to come in and fill in that spot. And, and they're not even up. losing their jobs. It's messed they up. They can stay in their jobs. Hey, same thing happened to RG3. He got fired. So Jason Kelsey can come on TV. And RG3 is a great media personality. He's killing it. But he had to, somebody else who has a big pool has to come in and eat. Hey, and that's just what it is. That's right. just what it is. Nothing anybody said is wrong. Um, and in at least a couple of instances, I think Shannon alluded to where I'm about to go. I'm a bit more direct with it. Um, I just want to let the audience know that I'm going to stand alone on what I'm about to say. I don't want anybody else to be held accountable for where I'm about to go. But I'm going to go there because it's first take. And that's what we do on this show, even if it's just me. Caitlin Clark and everything that everybody is saying is fine. And we're looking at Angel Reese and what Angel Reese has said. And Angel Reese is absolutely right. I love Angel Reese. I'm a fan. And I think she's going to be a damn good player. and She's going to produce for a long time in the WNBA. She was a national champion. She deserves all the props and all the credit in the world. 
But let's keep in mind, it wasn't her game <laughs> that was getting all the notoriety, despite real. the fact that she was a pretty damn good player. It was the fact that she was waving in Caitlin Clark's face. Because Caitlin Clark had been doing that to the competition before she ran mm -hmm. into LSU. In that, in that NCAA tournament in LSU took him out. And so what happens is she was throwing it right back in her face. And you had people saying, oh my God, how could she do such a thing? How could she do such a thing? And they didn't say, and they didn't say the same thing about Caitlin Clark, which is why I'm going to go where I'm going. Okay. Let me see everybody up on the screen. When I say this, please. Caitlin Clark is white. And because she's white, and because she's considered box office and she's a star who happens to be white, that is why Eminem, when I brought up words like uh, uh, envy or jealous or resentment, whatever word you wanted to pick, I didn't say it in a negative fashion like, oh my God, it's a problem. I used the word justified. You know why? Because black people throughout this country for years have felt that level of ire, because we know we've got to be half twice as good to get half as much. We know we've got to extend ourselves. We know we've got to put ourselves on front street to have a shot at getting half. Do pick a profession, pick a name, ask yourself, pick the biggest star, pick the biggest star in podcast, pick the biggest star in television, pick the biggest star in sports, whatever. That's black, and ask yourself the question that we all ask: If they were white, what would they be? How much money would we get paid if we were white? <laughs> How much success would we reap oh, if we were goodness, white? Sorry. How much endorsements would we get? How receptive would America be to us? Because it's still 60% of the population. And even in the year 2024, when the white populace in this country has dipped from 90 to 85 to 80 to 70 to now 60% and dipping, okay, even now, you have a situation where you get somebody who happens to be white and, they, and they're a star and they deserve the acclaim. They receive something we know we wouldn't receive on that level. Why do you think I say on national television when white folks catch a cold, black folks catch pneumonia? Because it's always worse for us. There's always an extra challenge. We always have to go through more. It's not a secret. We get it. And so all I'm trying to say to you is when Angel Reese said what she said, let's read between the lines. Because what she's really, really saying is that this is really not a big deal. We're making it a big deal because of what I did and who I did it to. If it was another sister that I did it towards, it wouldn't have been a problem. But because my black self did that to the golden goose who happens to be white, it blew up. I've reaped some benefits from it, and I'll take that. But in the end, we know what it is. She is saying and articulating and being symptomatic of things that we have been going through as a community for decades, if not centuries. And the sad part is, is that in the year 2024, this is further evidence we still going through it. Because in the end, like you said, Eminem, like you said, Janae, like I know you know, Shay Shay, if it wasn't, if we weren't talking about Caitlin Clark, but yeah, we were talking sure. about this happening with a sister, guess what? We wouldn't have been talking about it at all. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't have been a story. The golden goose was touched. And all I'm saying is, I know this. Y'all know this. I'm just saying, rather than resent it to the point where it's an impediment to our elevation and success, let's exploit it and reap the benefits from it. Because that's what they do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't agree with all that, man. They said the same thing on MSNBC this morning. Because I think it's not necessarily just the skin color. It is because it's basketball. Because typically black players oh, are CNN. better That's than white saying. players at basketball, right? Mm -hmm. But if you take a sport like golf, and there's a white dude who's good at golf, who's surprised? No one. But when Tiger Woods dominates golf, mm -hmm. and it's the same situation, reverse, you get the same outcome. Yeah, like Serena Williams. It's when it's an anomaly. You see what I'm saying? That's oh, yeah. the unicorn. 
Yeah, no, the but last that's half of what he said wasn't too bad. Yeah, it was just the, the way he first said half. It, all it the, the, the like, victim stuff. Okay, because it's like you know. anytime something's not normal, then then everyone looks. Yeah. Tiger Woods, Serena so Williams, exam- a bunch of examples. Bunch Jackie of Jackie Rock, it's a bunch. Black president, but hey, like, that's why I said I agree with that last half. Because oh my god, if LeBron was white, yes, because that would be an anomaly. He would be. If you say like Martin Matthew Bowling, exactly. like right. they hyped up Matthew right. Bowling, yes. white it's boy, an anomaly. fast, it's not normal. Imagine Abby Steiner. Hold on. What if Michael Phelps Barack was black? Barack Obama. What if Michael Phelps was black? This hold on. No, that's how it is. He would be. He would be a national treasure. He would be a national treasure. That's all. They have statues of him. It would be Michael Phelps road instead of MLK road. She's really good in that. In, in, in that. And that's it's the what anomaly it is. thing. That's that all it is. is what it is. Literally, all when well, you see someone who typically they're not good at this, but he's really good at this. Black people don't golf, but he's really good at golf. Black people don't swim, but he's really fast at swimming. That's that is what it is to me. And the people that are arguing, that's and arguing, arguing this stuff is just delusional. Well, I to think, be honest I with you, she's really the best player we actually have seen. So that's so like if period. we didn't have so that, 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 that's, what that I said. that's the hardest that part. The, that's she's the hardest literally the best. It would be player. hard to pop her up if she yeah, was. I she, think. Yes. I think. I also think like that moment that he highlighted when she was waving in her face. I don't think people were upset about that. They was. Bro. She was waving in her face. I think she was upset about people were upset because you're being a sore winner at that point. Like, what do you gain from taunting her? Not only has she not talked shit to you, has she not bad mouthed you at all? Did she not taunt you? Did she not do any of that? You're just going at her neck and being like you're literally just being being mean to someone who's not even worried about you. And like, like obviously, obviously, like since that moment and then like the the backlash and villainization that she's received in that moment, I think she does have some low key animosity towards Caitlyn because every time Caitlyn benefited, every time oh, I mean they both benefited. Like, uh, I mean, uh, it's a viral moment. Angel got a lot of uh, uh. Viral sensation and stuff, but I think the backlash is mostly just because, like, you just won and you're being a dick still. And, like, obviously, like, people are gonna like want to see you fail after that. Like, no one likes a sore winner. Like, we needed if, this. If, if Michael Jordan won six titles, like, I won because y'all suck, y'all can't beat me, people wouldn't like him. But you have to win with grace. You have to. I thought like, they that, said Michael just, was doing that. I mean, he was a shit talker. He was the, the worst shit talker. He was ever. a shit talker on the court, but name, show me a moment when Michael Jordan won a championship where he's taunting somebody in the face. Show me. Show me. He probably got some. Show, show me a moment here. Even Kaylin said that wasn't even that bad. Okay, no, she it wasn't that bad, but like the way it's perceived to the public. Like Kaylin as a competitor, what you know, bad, you gotta you gotta take your you gotta take your loss on the on the that chin. That was way worse. This that's thing that recently just happened. Cheering on that teammate no, for the, pushing the teammate, yeah, that pushing Kaylin down. That's that way worse. Bro, every 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 time Kaylin gets a lot, man, Kaylin gets praise. Angel uh uh has a problem. Like when Charles Barkley said, when Charles Barkley said, y'all need to thank her for getting y'all off them buses. Uh, Angel Reese tweeted, uh, "We just sold out uh, stadium. The world uh, da, 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 not because of one, uh, one player on a bus. This like what? Like, proves up, reverse stop. racism. I mean, I, did, I, I, I don't really. Oh, it was happening to Jackie. It was happening to Jackie. Uh, now, chicken bullet right now. Yeah. Own teammates even looking weird. Well, it's just the rookies. It's the rookies. I don't even know if I should. Do. I, really the, just rookies, like, I really just don't like. I really just don't like. I really just don't like reverting to like the that. racism argument. You know, it's just cheap to me. It is a little bit. Though. It's just cheap to me because, like, they saying, "Oh, it's racism because she's white, we're black." It's cheap. It's cheap. They don't like. They don't like Angel. They don't like Angel because through it all, through it all, through it all, Angel, Angel has been. I'm not. I like Angel. Racism is a bad word. They're just salty. I just think it's cheap. They're very salty. Yeah. Very. Like, 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 like I'm yeah. just gonna keep it a hundred. Like, if Angel was more humble and like had like a Caitlin Clark like personality, I think people would be more receptive to her. But she's more braggadacious, bodacious, unapologetic. Nah, I think that's and what's getting some people. Some people. She said it. The evil car. She has to play the evil car. She got guess to. What? She got to be the villain. She can't. Bro, like, I'm literally look, look, telling look, look, you why that look, look, she's labeled that though. Uh, she's you know unapologetic. Why. Like of that. even in that moment, like she could have been like, "Look, I'm sorry. Like I was just happy we won. I came out of next. She never apologized. Like, like no, she listen, why, you have to win with grace, bro. But that's, that's why just I what think, it is. I think that that moment that's just what was very big because that when they play it, the tickets are gonna not sell out, but you know it's. The most viewership is going to be there because it's like a hero versus a villain. You know? Yeah. She said it's it 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 the anomaly thing. Batman against Joker. Did you see what she said? Did you see what she said? <laughs> I will play an LSU. Did you see what she said? She uh, said, I will be the villain if I have to. Yeah, she did. She did. She literally yeah. said that. Yeah. I just think, well, right it's there. the anomaly thing. But let's, I'm just like, like, imagine, hold on. If this year, we've never watched NASCAR, right? But well, imagine if... Oh. Uh, Chief Keep looking dark skinned nigga. It's <laughs> winning. Dub NASCAR. We're all gonna hear about it. We we, and I would want to watch. Yes. Because that doesn't happen. That's right. literally all it you is. You know what I'm saying? But they, they can't. When I was a kid, my dad, bro. he don't like bro. golf. They he watching Tiger Woods, bro. though. He had me sitting there watching Tiger Woods. They can't comprehend that. 
They think that the, she's just getting propped up because she's white. Is Y'all can't anomaly? play like her. I just think like, 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 bro, we got, like, it's, like it's just, listen, 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 listen. Well, like, you did like, say like, we've we, 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 had this argument that before, y'all. We've had this argument before, y'all. But that's, listen, that's listen, listen. Going down that she's road. a great, she's a great player. She's insane. Her game is exciting to watch. That gets people excited. Um, she's a white player in a black dominated sport, which this brings anomaly. even it's an anomaly. It brings more yes. people out. And not only does, is she is she both of those things. She's very humble. She's very calm. She's Hero. very likable. She doesn't talk shit. She's not. Uh, but she's just a very likable this person, which adds both to another team. I mean, it's a little, it's a little fire in the moment. The but you gotta realize, she they was talking shit to her in the game. She just talked shit back. Like Caitlyn and Angel were not jarring back and forth, and Angel just comes at her head because she's mad. Like she just took down the big hero. Cool. <laughs> but like the fact that like she just has continued to pour gas on that fire that she lit then. I mean, it's just not helping your case. And also, it, it kind of is. At though. the end of the day, at the end of the day, Angel Reese is just not as exciting to watch as Caitlin not Clark. Half. Cut on, cut on both their highlights. One third. Whose highlights is more exciting? Not one fifth. That's, that's like watching that's Anthony Davis or watching Steph Curry. And you I just gotta drop Steph the Curry. mic drop on that. You can always make the same transition to the NBA, and it's like we've seen this shit before. Steph Curry is the most exciting. The kids are wearing the jerseys. The kids are wearing buying. Steph they want to shoot threes. They want to shoot threes. The rappers talking about got the thirty on me like Steph Curry. <laughs> Everybody want to be the yeah. Splash Bros. This and that. He's cool. Right hey, hey, day, guess, what? guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Steph Curry is humble. He's not a, a villain. Yeah, he has a villain on his team, the villain. but he's not the villain. Yeah, bro. When you're a villain, people are gonna want to see you fail. They're gonna root yeah. against you. They're not gonna like you. Draymond Green's a villain. They want to see him fail. Yeah, they don't. I like think people Draymond. like. I think. You guess know, what? Some Angel, people like Draymond. I like Draymond, but there's a negative sentiment around yes, Draymond sure. antics. Because he's a bully. Westbrook. Westbrook. Yes, Westbrook. Yes, Westbrook. Yeah. Listen, but you want to know why people like Draymond? Because he showed his personality and like yeah. it's like, okay, outside of basketball, he's kind he's of a likable guy. Cool. But on the basketball court, people don't like Draymond. But at the end of the day, <laughs> I, I'm going to just leave it like this. If she was not white... We will not be but talking we about the shit. this. We explain shit in town. Facts. Yes. We will Facts. not be talking about they this. They said that on CNN. They said the reason we're talking about what Kennedy Carter did to Kaylin is because it's a black girl on a white girl. Yes. There was an argument with two other players, black players getting in each other's face. No one cares. Why? Because it's black on black and no one gives a and, fuck. But that's also a reason why people might go try to be a bully to her to get a little clout. You know? Well, but, to be you honest know? with you, we saw what happened to Angel, though. She got choke slim. Hey, Angel, and they, guess, guess what? Guess what? That, that's, that goes back into my point. It's a black girl on a black girl. Angel, no one gives a Angel fuck. Angel sucks. All right. I'm not going to say all that now.